If you see terms repeating in a quadratic equation, you should consider using u substitution. So here you can see the 3t repeating. We're going to say that u equals 3t, and then we're going to rewrite that equation. So u squared minus 5u minus 14 equals 0. Now that's a lot easier to factor. u minus 7 u plus 2 equals 0. Then we're going to put the 3t back in. So 3t minus 7, 3t plus u. And you just solve them each. So in this case, you get 7 over 3. In this case, you get negative 2 over 3. And t has to be positive, so the answer is 7 over 3. Here's another example. Um, they want to know what makes the function undefined. Well, the function is going to be undefined when this e whole denominator equals 0. So we're going to set this equal to 0, but before we do that, I can see that the x minus 5 is repeating. So I'm going to say that u equals x minus 5. And then when I rewrite it, I've got u squared plus 4u plus 4 equals 0. This is much easier to factor. It's just u plus 2 quantity squared. Then I can put the x minus 5 back in. x minus 5 plus 2 quantity squared equals 0. That's the same as x minus 3 quantity squared equals 0. And that means that x equals 3. Okay, here's another example. <clears throat> this one's a little harder. So here we're going to say that u equals the square root of x, which is the same thing as x to the 1 half. And that would mean that u squared is x. So now we can rewrite this as u squared minus 2u minus 3 equals 0. And that's, again, quite a bit easier to factor. So you get this. Now we can put our u back in. So we have square root of x minus 3, square root of x plus 1. We're going to set them both equal to 0. For this one, you'll get the square root of x equals 3, which means x equals 9. For this one, you'll get the square root of x equals negative 1, and that's not going to work, so the answer is 9. Okay, one more. You might be tempted to cross-multiply, but before you do, you should replace the x plus 1 with a u, because then you'll get u equals 2 over u. When you multiply, you'll get u squared equals 2. That means u equals the square root of 2, and that's b.